what up guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome as you guys read in the description box this video will be about these yummy vegan cheesy garlic mashed potato fries now full disclosure before we get into this video this is not a tutorial video this was meal was definitely trial and error for me however it was enjoyable to make and i ended up getting a really good meal in the end so i still wanted to share with you guys so just stay tuned and you will get into the making of these yummy vegan cheesy garlic mashed potato fries please be sure to turn on your post notifications for videos in the future as well as subscribe to my channel for more videos and other things that I may post. Okay guys, so now we wanna start off with making sure that everything is chopped, prepped, and ready. So I have already peeled and chopped my potatoes, and here you will see me chopping up the vegan cheeses that I chose to use for this dish, as well as the parsley. Now for your potatoes, all you have to do is just once they are peeled and um, ready, you just throw them in hot oil. You let them fry just long enough to get them soft, but not enough to cook them all the way. Once they are soft and ready, you can just go ahead and take them out, put them into a bowl, and from there, we're going to start really preparing the filling or the fry, the mashed potato part of these mashed potato fries. So we're just going to go ahead and take some coconut milk and add a little bit of coconut milk. I eyeballed it how much I put. It was about give or take maybe two to three tablespoons worth of milk here you will see me adding the fresh garlic that i chopped up and i will then be adding in the cheese and the parsley as well as my seasonings uh, seasonings of choice i used for this dish was fresh cracked ground pepper sea salt nutritional yeast and a garlic seasoning and a garlic pepper. Um, I kept it very basic with the seasonings. I didn't want to do too much with it because um, I wanted to really be able to taste the cheeses and the garlic since that's the main part of this dish. But of course, everything that I cook is going to have seasonings in it. So those are just the seasonings that I chose to use. Um, but like if I keeping it simple is what made this dish really really tasty and really really good so um, I you know wanted to keep it on a simple side for that reason along with all of your other seasonings you want to be sure that you add some cornstarch into this mixture as well you want to be sure that the mixture of the mashed potatoes is nice and thick um, and also very smooth to touch so here I'm just going to use my spoon to mash up the potatoes because I didn't have a, ma a potato masher. However, that was becoming a little bit too difficult and it wasn't getting it chopped up the way I wanted it to. So I started to use a whisk and if you guys have a whisk on hand, that will make this process a lot easier. If you don't have a whisk or a big spoon, you can always use a fork. A fork is a good alternative too as well. It just may take a little longer. So once the potatoes are at the consistency that you're looking for and you're ready to go you just want to go ahead and take your mixture throw it onto the countertop or a flat surface with your cornstarch and start to mash everything together and fold it all together just to create a thicker consistency for the mashed potatoes and as well as help to be able to form and work with the mashed potato mixture a lot better and so that's what you'll see me doing here. I'm just gonna be flipping and rolling the mashed potatoes into the cornstarch until it's at a consistency that I'm satisfied with. Once I have it in the ball and shape that I was looking for, I just used the regular cup that I had and used to that to roll it out until it was about like a quarter of an inch thick. Once this, it was at the consistency that I wanted, you just add a little bit more cornstarch up um, to the top of that and you will then start to cut the sides in order to get an evenly shaped rectangle. And once you start to cut 
the rectangle you could just take the access pieces that's around that and put them back into your bowl and um, once you're done with making your first batch of fries with that first batch you can easily just use the access batch and make more fries and do the same process over again or you can always make a potato pancake you know there's other things you can do with that mixture um, if you didn't want to continue to do the fries but I just made more fries with it because that's what I was doing for this video and that's what I did so now you're just going to cut vertically down and then horizontal one time across the middle just to cut them in half these can be whatever size you choose for them to be I just wanted them to be this size because I wanted to keep them thick like a steak fry so when they do fry there is still a lot of potato filling in the middle versus it just being really crispy on the outside and not much filling in the inside because I wanted to make sure that they're as flavorful as possible. So once you cut them and you have them the size that you would like, you just want to roll them into the cornstarch and make sure that they are covered in cornstarch. That is very important because if they're not covered in cornstarch, when you put them into the oil, they will just break up and dissolve into the oil and you will not have a french fry at the end of the frying process. Um, that was one of the things I learned in the process of making these. So once you have it nicely coated in the cornstarch, you go ahead and just put them into hot oil and you let them fry until they're a nice golden brown. And you do want to get a fork and like, you know, move them around a little bit so they don't stick until they start to really start to fry. And once they really start to fry, you can leave them alone and allow them to fry and do what they need to do. So here is when I started to finish up the first batch of the fries and they came out so, so good. I really enjoyed making these. I really enjoyed the learning process um, it took for me to make these. And once they were finished and at the end of it all, they were so yummy. And all I did was <laughs> sprinkle a little sea salt on top and some fresh parsley and some shredded cheese and I made a little sauce to go on the side and you can enjoy. Very simple, easy recipe guys. Um, even though it was a trial and error process, it was still all easy in the end and I really enjoyed them. So I hope you guys do try this recipe and please comment down below on some tips and tricks that I could have used to make this meal better and easier. If you guys tried it before, let me know. Um, if you want to try it and there were steps that I didn't mention, you can go ahead and hit me in a comment box and I'll be sure to reply and answer any questions that I can. That's it for this video. Thank you all for watching.